to. So it is time now, as always, for a little. Okay, what do we got this week? I want to talk Bengals. You, you crushed it last week. Listen, you were texting me 90 under center. He's a, this whole time you nailed it with what's going on. I want to dig a little bit deeper. Okay, take me into what we saw out of the Bengals, their performance, and how it can potentially translate to this Sunday situation against Buffalo. Well, as you said, okay, we talked about it last week. And while the Bengals still aren't an under center team, we did see them go to it a lot more on Sunday. And it led to results in both the run game and the passing game. We also saw a much more mobile Joe Burrow. So I want to dig into it right now. They had it all working. And this is the best version of the Bengals offense we saw all year. And we'll start with some of that under center stuff. You're going to see here Jamar Chase at the top of the screen. He's going in motion. Joe Mixon in the backfield. And I want you to watch first this orbit motion from Jamar Chase, what that does. It forces the safety have to come outside and fill that alley because you have to respect Jamar going in motion there. They could throw a bubble to him, toss to him on the reverse. And from the end zone view, you can see what that does to the defense. The Bengals are going to have a hat on a hat here. They're running downhill to Mixon, and there's no one on that third level to step down and fill the B gap. So Mixon's going to explode through there and pick up 11 yards, a first down, set up the Bengals' second touchdown of the game. And Mixon just seems so much more comfortable running downhill, too. But we also saw the impact it has in the passing game. Here, Tyler Boyd coming in jet motion. That's going to force Hufanga to have to widen out. Great, just a little bit of an easier release here for Jamar Chase. We're going to see play action here. And watch the impact that has on the linebackers. They're peeking in the backfield. They have to step up just in case it is a run. And that's going to allow... Mm -hmm. Jamar to get behind them, sneak into that window, and it doesn't take much of a window for Joe Burrow with his accuracy to be able to thread the needle there, find Jamar, anticipate the throw. It's a thing of beauty. But as I mentioned before, too, the other thing of beauty is Burrow's mobility is back. This is the first time we really saw him mobile this year. Just watch the escape ability here. Eric Arnstead has him dead to rights. I don't know how he gets out of this one, but he manages... (laughs) Then Nick Looks Bosa healthy. gets his hand on him. He's going to get a little. He's going to get a little of an, a bit of an assist here from uh, Alex Kappa. And then watch this throw. That is a thing of beauty. The ball placement can't be any better than that to T. Higgins. And that's while taking a shot to the jaw from oh. an all-pro linebacker. That is vintage Joe Burrow. That's what we saw last Sunday, and I really think that's what we see again Sunday night. I put together a little parlay. I think the nice. Bengals win. I'll take them with the one and a half points. Joe Burrow over 225 passing yards and Jamar Chase anytime touchdown scorer. Because a plus 259 in there, but I, I, I think the Bengals get it done. I loved what I saw from this offense last weekend. 